Greetings everybody, welcome again to a new video of Bourbon on Map. Today I'll be playing uh, Terrain Builders, so stay tuned and hope you'll enjoy the content. Now, in order to, for you to pick the Terrain Builder, you need to type Hominite, enter minus Hominite as you can see here. And this ter terrain builder is, is really efficient builder in the beginning, but later on it doesn't have that much good towers, but with a decent strategy as you as I will show you in this video, uh, you can beat this map really easily. I'll be playing on professional mode uh, on the in Blitz version, so spawns are double and uh, waves are coming at random, so it will be really chaotic and uh, enjoyment uh, and enjoy enjoyable video to, to, to make and to, to see. In level 1 I start building these 15 uh, gold marine uh, marine towers, they are really good because the, their type of shooting is, is uh, very fast and uh, the, the type is piercing and the speed is very fast and the ra range is 750, this is what I want to say, so they will, they, will, they will do a really fine job in the beginning and I will not be building them too much because I will be immediately saving for the goliath and that is the 54, uh, 55 gold tower from this terrain builder. The three classes that you can go from uh, from the terrain builder are uh, fire builder, zerg builder, and protos. And I will be going to fire builder obviously, and then to uh, zerg builder because I want zerg's hero to, to have. So this will be my tactic. In the beginning, as I said, I'll be really good at having so much money, but. In the end, I mean, I will be like uh, good, but not efficient that much, and you will see what I mean. I will try to be efficient. Let's see who we have on my right side. We have a holy builder. On my bottom right side, we have an undead builder, which is, I mean, that builder, which is really good. I mean, if he knows how to play this, if he goes for skeletons and so on, this would be really amazing. And on my bottom left, we have human builder. Okay, this is a little bit greedy play already. I mean, building cannon towers. Without those basic towers, it's it's not the way to go. You you can leak uh, you can leak uh, really easy, and it's not good. I mean, yes, you're doing much damage. You you killing most of the ways, but on the level four or five, it's not good, and especially if air comes. And as you can see, I sold one of the marines, and I built this Goliath. He has uh, the piercing type of damage for ground and air units, and also he deals much more damage to air units than to, to the ground. To the ground, his speed is fast, but for air is average, so this is like he deals like more damage to them. But for a 55 gold, this tower is, is so efficient, so efficient, so... And it's a single target uh, damage, so... It is, it is a good tower, I would say, for that money. Anyway, uh, my tactic now is like uh, going uh, cruising through the waves and then just uh, building a little bit of Goliaths and seeing if air comes. If not, if air doesn't come, then I will be immediately going to for fire builder and so on. So let's speed up a little bit. There are in total 40 levels. Who doesn't know? I mean, 42 levels, but level 39 and 40 are the strongest levels in the game. So. You should like build a tactic especially for the 40th level, they can really easily run you over and you will have a hard time uh, passing, <laughs> clearing this, this, this map. Job's done. Now since this is a terrain builder, uh, it's a little bit special, I mean as you can see this kind of, uh, how to say, uh, uh, designs, I really like them. Uh, and uh, also what is really nice, I mean you cannot pick this class from the, in the beginning, you need to type it, this is the only way actually you can pick it, so... Yeah, this is, this is the point. Also Zerg, you need to type type uh, Xenomorph, and for the Protoss you need to type uh, Psyon and Minor Psyonic. And that's the only way you can like access to, to them. And now I even build a second Goliath, I think I'll be building even the third Goliath, so... Like four Goliaths, it's, it's more than enough. Especially now level four will come and I'll be having so much damage against the air, so... I am saying to him I build for air please because he has yeah four cannon towers but as I remember the whole game he was he was really uh, uh, building unordinary I would say so but we will see how it will progress anyway let's focus on my gameplay there is not that much to say in the beginning my except that uh, about my builder and, and the, the goliath that I'm going to build and wait for the level five and just building here one flamethrower, here a second flamethrower and so on. 
There is a nice synergy between Terrain and Fire Builder, and that is the extension tower of Terrain Builder is uh, it is called Firebat Bunker, and that uh, that tower is is like flame tower from the Fire Builder, but on steroids, 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 steroids on steroids, and that tower is, is massive. I mean, but as after I built two of them, and because they're expensive also. I was not that much satisfied with that tower, I mean, it is a funny tower, it is nice to build it, but it doesn't do the job, so I didn't, I didn't build any more, more of them, so, yeah. Now level 4 was, uh, came and now it's passing, basically, and I see, okay, now uh, we don't leak, uh, I mean, not just we don't leak, but it's not air, I can save money immediately now, and maybe on level 5, after level 5 build, uh, build a flamethrower, and hopefully, let's see, level 5 is not air unit, so... Level 4 passed, uh, now level 5 will come. There are two types of waves that can come, who doesn't know, I mean, there is this kind of ground waves and air waves, air waves that they are flying and these ground waves they are walking on the ground, so some of your towers might shoot, some of your towers might not shoot, you must read the description of your towers, like what is written. Now these succubus, they, they don't look like big of a problem, I mean, that was my wave, and then yeah, so I, I kind of we, we are kind of clearing them, no problem. I mean, I'm just doing single target based damage, so you know, it's, I'm testing some strategies and so on. I don't play this often, this class, this is my maybe fifth time that I was playing this class, and I am familiar with the towers and everything, what it has and what are the what is the potential of this class, but I would not say that this was like the top top five classes, nowhere near, I mean, you know, top, five, top five classes I would pick definitely Poison, uh, fire, uh, ice, earth, okay, maybe not earth, but poison, fire, ice, hmm, who would be all, who would also I pick, I don't know, that's, that's definitely, and yeah, I don't know who would be the fifth one, that, that I need to think, so far I'm not satisfied, now here I saved even one life for us, because I built here one marine, but the purple guy, I mean, I would say he screw us up by building just four of these cannons and like, I was like, what is this tactic, you know, like, build some normal towers like everybody and yeah, he didn't care that much, so like, okay. Now I have money, I mean, I have money, I have 100 gold, now I need 8 more uh, gold and I want to build my first length rover and as you can see my, uh, this uh, goliaths, just 3 goliaths and they're just monsters against air, so I'm not stuck with air that much. And, and in general, air is not a problem for me. I'm 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 really good. So I, I like I like how I, I played here. And also I built here my first flamethrower. And also I built one flame character just for case like maybe I, if I see that I'm leaking or something, I will be rebuilding them. But I see that I don't leak. I mean we don't leak at all. So I was like okay that my goliaths and everything, all other my towers are more than sufficient. And yeah. I mean, this way is easy way, I would say they have just 290 health and yeah, it's, it's, it was clear really easily. But we lost two lives for nothing on the, on the level 5, I mean, it could, we could easily pass that level without losing any life and without him even like losing money or something, so yeah. Level 7 comes and then they're going, they're passing now till level 10 we are safe, there will be no air waves, so I can focus more on the ground damage. And yes, I will be going for for four flamethrowers like I was with I feel like I played in Magic like in my previous video. So check it out. And that uh, that strategy is like good because I don't have any. Uh, I didn't want to make any risk if if uh, if other waves are coming and this guy, if other waves like uh, some strong ground waves are coming and I don't have strong ground damage and I am saving for. I don't know, roost or something, so I wanted to have 4 flamethrowers. And this guy will leak a lot, he will leak a lot to me and I, I was able to play greedy because of him, so... Luckily, luckily for me it was, it, was a good, it was a good thing, so... But overall, I mean, the Teal didn't pay that much price, he will be catching us lately and he is going to be our main support with this magic and with his holy builder, so... Where is his, yeah, this holy builder, so... There'll be no problem for him. Also, this guy, he is undead, he went for poison, he'll be combining with thunder and poison, and so yeah, it's, it's really good. 
Yeah, so I already built my second flamethrower and I already have 73 gold. As you can see, I can even now start saving for, for some more expensive towers, but I said no. I will build now. Uh, I, I wanna. I wanna build my my fourth, my third flamethrower and my fourth flamethrower. So there is no problem. This these classes that I'm having from from terrain builder and terrain itself, they don't have any towers that can slow the way or something. And I didn't want to ask other people to build for me, so I was like, okay, I will be building by myself. And this is why this class is not that much efficient. I mean, it has that ultimate tower, which is kind of good. I mean, it's not the best, but it's, it's kind of good. But okay, I mean, no, nevertheless, it is fine. So. And now I'm building even my third flamethrower, and I think I'll be building my fourth flamethrower. Because, I mean, look, the guy leaks a lot, and I cannot uh, take that risk, and, I, and me also to leak, and yes, so... I didn't do anything, it was better for me, like, okay, build, 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 and let's see what's going to happen. I mean, the purple guy is kind of feeding me, so it's fine. So, level 8 passed, 32 levels more to come, to go. <laughs> but we are cruising, I mean, every 5 level you get the wood, and with that wood you can, like, build uh, more classes or more extension towers. So, I'm waiting uh, level 10 to also build an extension uh, tower from the fire and then have access to the fire caster and, and uh, uh, dragon roost so the, that will be like uh, really good for me hmm. now the thing is uh, this these waves are coming going and the age on that wave that is coming the this guy is really good, uh, really efficient against them because his uh, light beacons and purifiers dealing bonus damage to them. So I was like, okay, we are kind of safe against this wave, and I will be, be fed from the purple guy, no problem there. So Job's done. That, that is like uh, really good. Huh. Now you cannot hear it, but here is kind of uh, winterish, winterish rain, I mean snowy rain uh, falling fall down, and it hits the window. This is really weird noise. So yes, I mean now this is the guy that uh, was I was talking about. Like this strategy is fine. I mean it's not that no bad, but yeah, I would definitely never play like this. You have the guide for the human builder on my channel. Check it out. It's a link in the description. So yeah. And also the other guys will be asking for my flamethrowers, so I will be building for them my flamethrowers on these corners for all of these four corners. This guy will also want maybe one other one. So we'll see. I have all four of them and I'm like ready for if air wave comes or something I have also my goliaths but I, uh, f luckily for me this mud golems comes and I will be just annihilating them I mean with four flamethrowers yeah this is this guy says here fire is OP and yes after level 10 I'll be getting my wood so with this wood I will be building an extension tower from the fire builder and then after that I'll be saving money for the dragons because I'll be having so much money I mean Neither level 10 or 11 was airwave and we were lucky for that. I mean lucky, we could clear it as well, but I, I this way I get I got more much more money. So I was like really happy. <clears throat> but in such a way that you you, you could play this uh, any any uh, anytime you like. I mean I have three Goliaths here, but I don't know if I will build the four Goliath. I mean usually I like to go with four Goliaths, but I was like okay, let's save some money and see how this goes. And yes, I go for the extension tower. And also I can build even next level fire caster for 250 gold. But I said no, let's save some money. As you can see a lot of uh, spell immune uh, waves are coming. This is the second spell immune wave that is coming. And my four flame towers are massive here. And uh, what I want to say is also that uh, with Dragon Roost level 15 I will be having some good uh, strategy against those fairies that can come on the 15th level and they're spell immune. So it was like better in my mind. I mean, I prefer sometimes going for Firecaster, but in this kind of setup, I was like, okay, let's go for the Dragon Roost, and then there will be no problem. And look how much feed I'm having actually. I mean, they're feeding me a lot. So I was like happy. I don't, I didn't ask too much, too much of the towers from the other guys like the Ice Launcher and I don't know, Ice Towers or Poison or Burrows or something. I was like, I was just focused on my towers, my gameplay, my classes, and then. That's all. In the beginning, like this, I mean, it will look like I'm the fire builder, <laughs> not the, not terrain builder. But you must play a little bit like this till you get some money. When you get money, then it's fine. And again, this is the third uh, wave in a row that is Pelimune. 
And this is what I was telling you, that with a lot of spelling on vase, and if you go immediately for some magic damage, then you pay the price. So I didn't want to do that. And I'm suggesting to the blue guy to go that and, and thunder, there is really nice synergy also, poison and thunder. Really, really efficient towers, and they will really bring us uh, good damage, if, if he goes for that, and I think he'll... And now look, I mean, already I'm having so much money, like, I will be having 420 gold. And I can build my first Dragon Roost. So after the Dragon Roost, this kind of setup, I, I was ready to, to face the fairies on level 15, and this was more than enough. I mean, I, I'm not in a rush to build it because I can build also for this guy, so for him, the third rank thrower, so there is no problem. And yes, I'm building my first Dragon Roost. I'm placing it here because Dragon Roost has 700 range. And with this 700 range, you can cover all of this area, I mean, basically all of this area here. And this is what I wanted, I mean, I want to hit them starting from here to here. Also, the guys that are coming that from their rotations and so on. I was like, okay, yeah, definitely I'm building it there, so there is no problem. Job yes, done. and this is what I was telling, I mean, look at this, the splash damage that it's doing. And early Dragon Roost is so efficient, so, so efficient. Also, having so many Dragon Roost is also so good, so there is no problem. Also, I think I built a Dragon Roost, also this guy built his first Nova Shocker, so this is really good, I mean, one Dragon Roost, one Nova Shocker. This guy is having also four uh, Flamethrowers, some uh, Ice Launchers, Poison Burrow, Ziggurats, uh, Hold on, Hold on, Exuders, really good. Also, this guy is good, he has, again, some Burrows, Crystal Shines, Purifiers, okay, Beacons, some Flamethrowers here, and he built some Basic Towers, he, this is a fine strategy, really, really fine strategy, so... There is no problem there. This, these waves were easy. Also, if there was some level 14 now, era wave, you could clear it, no problem. You look, what am I, what am I doing to this wave? They <laughs> barely don't, don't rotate, so... Yeah. I am asking Till, will he go for the whole expansion because I want him from him to have Aura Generator? And this will be really good for me. I mean, these this bonuses that I will get from one tower are enormous. Really good for me. Now I'm having also 250 gold and I will definitely build my Firestorm caster. And uh, although the level 15 can be like, okay, it is uh, the fifth, uh, it is, uh, it can be spell immune, and I'm building a spell tower, but I don't care because I have Dragon Roost and he can, he can solve all of my problems. <laughs> and yes, I'm building it. I was like, okay, let's not, let's not waste uh, time and money. Because you don't know, maybe mechanical will come and then a very kind of small problem. But these fairy dragons comes and they look like a trouble, but actually they are not that much of a trouble. So yeah, my firestorm caster will not do any damage if I if I cast fire and I will set it on off. So I was controlling it. But as you can see, this fire uh, my dragon roost is, is really massive here, and with four flamethrowers, I'm basically annihilating these guys. They don't rotate that much. So they're only only kind of. Trouble is clearing my wave, and that, that's that's all they need to be like focused. And yeah, this is the second rotation, and they, the second rotation didn't like stand any chance. Now I'm so good. Now I'm preparing for the level 17 for the invis. The guy built me the sentry tower for 70 gold. This is really nice of him. Thank him. Yes, we clear everything. I have 100 gold. I have one wood, and immediately I go for the extension tower of terrain builder, and that is this science facility. And now I was like, okay, now let's see how the game will progress. Okay, level 16 comes mechanical, but this mechanic is no problem because the type of armor is medium. And what was I telling? I have I built the extension tower of, of the terrain builder. And now I will be saving for my bunkers, fire, fire bunkers. But then after building them, I, will, I will regret it. And maybe it was better to save the money and instead of those two fire bunkers build on level 20 my ultimate tower for 750 gold and one wood. And then just uh, sp actually spam those towers. But I was like, okay, let's see, I mean, how it will go, how will I progress. So far I'm progressing really good, I mean, but I wanted to, to, ex to explore some towers. I was not sure how to play this class next time, definitely if when I play it I will never go for this kind of setup, so... Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> and the guy said, okay, he has generator, okay, I was like, okay, let's first build one generator, then I will be building the, the fire bunkers. Because our generator is such an efficient tower, who doesn't know about that tower, I would ask, like, please uh, watch my video for Holy Builder, it is 
It is an amazing tower. Also, human builder. I dare it. He has a whole extension. I think I built it there. Please check it out. Now the invis comes, and I said to you that invis is no problem for me. And look what I'm doing. I'm just massive to them. I understand like any chance, any, any chance. I mean, I, I made them so low so that the till guy will just one shot them. And I don't think they they shouldn't rotate at his place. And look what I'm doing with them, so there is no problem. Also, I'm asking for an aura generator to from Till guy. I sent him some money, and I will be, I'll be uh, building it, and I'm bringing him where to build it. So yeah. And immediately as the aura generator is building, immediately I get the bonuses on my towers, bonus damages. I mean, this is so so nice, so good. I like this a lot. All of my towers get some bonus damage, and this is so efficient. So yeah, level 17 pass, this was the invis, and level 19 is the attacking ground, that is siege. You can check like when siege is coming, but mostly, I mean mostly 100% they are always coming on the level 19, 27, 34 and 37. So like 4 sieges in total in the game and be ready for them. They, they can really damage your towers, attack your towers and then destroy your base if you are not prepared or you have some tactic and so on. So yeah. This air wave though, again, it doesn't stand any, any chance, I mean, look at this, my roost and Firestorm caster all together with uh, combination of, of my flamethrowers is just massive. So yeah, I said next is siege, so I build some front lines. This is it's it's important to have some tactic. I don't cast I cast, yeah, I cast some fire here, but I don't need even need to cast my firestorm caster there. Clearing this wave more efficiently. The purple guy is doing a fine job of slowing this wave with with his uh, burrows and he has already two no shockers, which I don't know what is this no shocker doing here. Anymore. To who is this Nova Shocker shooting, I will ask him, but okay, I mean, it would be better if he placed it here. But anyway, I mean, not here, actually Job here, done. but what am I to know? Job done. Now I built some front lines, then after all, I realized I actually don't need that front lines, I have so Job much damage. Done. And Siege, regardless Job which done. Siege came, I could easily, easily clear it. It was, it was with, with, uh, with one Aura Gen, uh, Firestone Caster and one Dragon Roost. I mean, look at this, they just come to touch my tower and they, they get destroyed. I mean, they will not even make my tower burn, so... <laughs> this was so easy, too easy. And I'm having so much money here, as you can see, and if I save here money, and, and then on the level 20 cut the wood, I could build the ultimate tower. But I made a mistake, I started building these fire bed bunkers, because I was like, okay, maybe these fire bed bunkers will do, will do an awesome job of, uh, of how to say, of combining... Uh, the damage uh, of, of, of of the flamethrower and fire bunker and yeah, that would be so good. But what I didn't see, these fire bunkers are not that efficient, so I was kind of disappointed a little bit. So I mean, they're having 400 range, their type of shooting is normal, very fast, I mean, same like flamethrower, just more damage and more range. And you can see after building this, I was like, hmm, I'm not doing the as, as expected damage, so I was kind of disappointed here. So. For that tower and, and like kind of a tactic thing, I was not that much satisfied. So, that in any case, it's no problem. I mean, I'm having so much money, and uh, now I will be building uh, my second probably fire fire bunker. Yeah, okay. First, I will be building dragon roost for the teal guy. That's no problem. And then, uh, yeah, then, then, then this other stuff. So when you when I say I'll be building, I come to his place and I build there, and then you can see this. See this tower and give him the ownership of this tower. So, by clicking the yellow plus on the tower, so that's, that's something no worth of noting. Yeah, and I have so much money. I have the wood, and again I was like doubting: should I go? Should I go? What should I do? And I was like, okay, it doesn't matter. Let's just sell this marine, one marine, and place here another fire uh, firebed bunker. Because I mean, I was like, let, let, let's test this out. I mean, let's test test this build. And yeah, so. But first, I'm. Did I save some money? No, I'm not saving. Yeah, I was like saving or no, not saving. I didn't save. It. But yeah, this is my second marine bunker. Right? Yeah. Now I'm be saving also for the magic dampener. I need some mass dispel because when you're done. playing on professional mode. You need tactics against any type of waves. <laughs> you need variety of towers. Also, it's, it's it is really important to have. And I'll be building now my, my first magic dampener. I think that the only magic dampener actually that I build the whole through the whole game. So yeah. And then we are on the half level 20 past. Be ready to play this map for a long time. I mean it is uh, kind of uh, long mag at least one half hour. So 
because there are just 40 waves and so on. And this is what I was telling you, another Spelunium uh, wave comes and it's so bad. I mean, it, it, it's okay for me, but it's not good. I mean, I don't have any tactic for Spelunium and I was a little bit disappointed. Like, do damage to this <laughs> to these waves. And, yeah. and my fire bad bunkers are not doing that much damage as I was expecting, you know, so I was kind of a little bit disappointed here. But okay, I mean, maybe I should have built them more, maybe they will do the job. But overall, it's as I said, it's fine. I mean, I, I tried, I tried, I tried them. So next time, I'll definitely build them if I have extra money. This is what I will do if I see them reasonable. I mean, I would prefer more Dragon Rose than them now, if you ask them. So, build them to Dragon Rose more, or my ultimate. Again, I'm having money. And the blue guy, he went for this combination of, of uh, Undead and uh, Poison. And I want him to build me the Necropolis. Uh, the, pardon, not the Necropolis, the, the name of the tower. Epidemic Catalyst. And yes, this is the Epidemic Catalyst. It's such a monstrous tower, such a good tower. I like it. I mean, this, they, they're per second, 24 damage per second to all of the minions. It's all except mechanicals, okay? But till till the round finishes. So basically till they die, you know. So it's, it's, it's really, really good. Really, really interesting type of damage. And this this way is kind of problem in this uh, fortified type of armor. Because we don't have any, any I would say, good tactic. And it's no problem, I mean, the, the, we, I think we will, since we win this, we won this uh, map, we will, we will clear this way, but... I don't know, did somebody leak to that? That's, that's like a question here. And now the game is a little bit slower. Because uh, of the purple guy, he's having the combination of uh, uh, ice and, and uh, poison. And yeah, so... I could ask him to build me some towers, but I was like, nah, okay. So currently only the towers that I don't have are this, this Aura Generator and this Epidemic Catalyst. But these are really special towers that you, if you have access to them, build them, you know. It's not like I want to spam these towers. No, this is just one tower that is sufficient and that's all, you know. More of them because epidemic catalyst damage doesn't stack, so there is no need to build more, of one, more than one. Any kind of variety uh, damage that you can do that is splash type or some long term damage, build the tower, it is really good. So, yeah, I asked, like, is this a leak? He doesn't say anything. And if I knew, let's say, that this guy is a leak, we could stop him. I mean, look at this, he could have built some poison and, and ice combinations stop him in a place and we just build some towers and, and we could also save this life but no we let we let this guy pass and i was kind of disappointed here you know this purple guy he misplayed a little bit by not talking to us so yeah what to do i mean <laughs> life goes on i have one wood and i was telling i will go for a zerg builder and yeah i, I went for zerg and all i want from zerg is uh, just the his uh, uh, hero and also I realized oh if I have Zerg maybe I can also build the filer so that is also fine I mean we it is it is really good tower because it is 19 gold and oh, again some long term damage <laughs> long term poison and damage and I was like okay definitely I will go for that so yeah I, I built that stuff so that is not for me here as you can see I built that, the filer I like this tower in the beginning it's good you know so. Oh, what this guy wants now? Let's see, give 199. Which tower he wants? <laughs> Maybe he will only me money, so yeah, okay, it's fine, it's no problem. Level 24 passed, level 25 to come. Now this is in this way, and I get the wood, so I will be building an extension tower of the reserve. And then level 25, I will be going. Level 30, I'll be going for a hero. And this would be really efficient. I mean, that uh, I, I will be having this kind of uh, privilege to, to, to destroy the waves much faster. So, as you can see, I don't build that many things here. I mean, I don't have, I don't have what to build. You know? I was not sure like which tower should I build, what kind of strategies should I employ. Like, okay, should I go for a wood now and then go for ultimate? I said, no, I picked Zig, Zig, Zig Builder. And then I said, okay, then I'll be building for some ground damage and I'm building this siege tank and then it's not that bad, you know. It says splash damage again. I, I like splash damage and siege type of damage. So 
I was like, okay, let's sell something Jump against fortified, so so it's fine. Jobs done, and I have wood. I think I'll be yeah, Zion building immediately infested command center. And fire, I mean the fire, sorry, air. Air looks like problematic, but it's not that much. I mean, I'm doing many types of damages to them, and I'm splashing. As long as I'm splashing, it, it is it, I'm, I'm sufficient. So there is like no problem there. My, my defiler is really good here. I mean, looks 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 fine, you know, for a 19 gold tower, and look how much I'm affecting them, dealing damage to them, you know, splashing. It's, it's really good. And I'm not having any vulcan or anything, I'm just having one dragon roost, and that's all. You know. But over, overall, I, I, was, I was satisfied how I played this game. I mean, although I'm not an expert on this uh, class particularly, it's really hard taking this class and beating it to the expert mode without some people like really know how to play in this map so yeah. and we already lost three lives but it's it's not a problem i mean three lives are fine but you know, experts they will you lose the game so yeah. he's doing fine i mean he's having no shockers and he's he starts playing also seal cannons this is also fine and also he built some poison arrow turrets these are like kind of improved uh improved burrows I would say. Yeah. Now siege comes, the siege is a little bit annoying because they cast that smoke and then they, it takes like eternity for you to kill them. But with my Firestorm caster I was able to clear, to clear this waves much faster, so let's speed up a little bit. It's already one hour of, of gameplay, of real time gameplay and uh, it's already like so many things are happening. So yeah. I, I was able to clear them, now Blue is kind of struggling, but I think he'll be also able to clear it, there'll be no problem, yeah, he, he cleared it. Now I save money and I'm able to Book of Gods, the Book of the Gods, it's really good tower, one of the best tower, spell towers in the game, it has 4 spells that can cast uh, really fast, it's, it's just a massive, massive tower, for 5 or 500 something gold, it's really massive. And I think this would be all the towers that I was asking, so I have one Book of Gods, Aura Gen, Epidemic Catalyst and then one uh, Magic Dumpener. So this is this is like the, the dream I would say. This kind of support towers, these four five towers. It's really good. Also, I wouldn't say anything bad to Nova Shockers, you know, but I didn't want to to mix that much classes. There was no need for that. I, I said okay, let's test out the damage of this class itself, what it can do and which tactic can I Im implement here. Level 28 passed, 12 levels more to come, I mean, waves are coming and going. We are, we are so far so good, I mean, we are really efficient. Whichever the wave comes, we, we really like damage it. I mean, look what I'm doing, I mean, splashing, chaosing, whatever. Really good, you know, I'm so satisfied. Now I was owning this guy money, yeah. And now, huh, okay, uh, this guy also went for the Thunder and that combination and he has this tower called Magnetic Field Disruptor. And I wanted this tower so bad because, I mean, look, it gives them minus... Wait, now in the way, because I'll show you what I mean. It gives minus three armor to all of the minions. It, it's not a single, it's like it casts the aura. And this position here for this tower is superb. And all of these minions are have minus armor and like what, what do you guys want you on more I mean, this is dream I would say. So for 530 gold it's such an efficient tower. Such an efficient tower and it's a monstrous tower. Or 510. So yeah. I mean we are building the towers for them for myself and so on. And yeah. Now that this uh, wave comes but level 30 and now this way I will be having money for my hero so I, I was like okay let's build it for my hero and I start building my casual setup for wave blocking because my hero has the spell uh, stun and I can stun the whole wave here so you will see what I mean and then they will be stuck here and I'll be dealing a mass damage then to the ground units of course not to the air units but yeah this ultra risk this hero from the um, from the Zerg builder is, is really good it's really, it's, it's one of the top 5 heroes, so yeah, this is definitely worth a good I mean, top 1 hero definitely, uh, it will be the dead hero, second archmage, definitely, then zerg I would say, I mean zerg hero is good, also the storm hero from the thunder builder is is, is really really good, and I don't know who will be like the 5th hero that I liked, like to, to build them, that, uh, some hero like, that, ah yes I forgot the earth hero, the earth hero that, uh, 
keep out the group really good. Yeah, and this is that ult ult ultra risk that I was talking about. It is such a massive, massive hero. I mean, it's, it's, it's an amazing oh hero. So. Even though this wave has uh, anti-magic shell, it's no problem because I can dispel it with my magic dampener and then just do some spell damage also to them, so no problem. But I'm, I'm, the most important thing is making them low so that the teal guy doesn't have problem of clearing that way. But yeah. They're always coming green to me, but I'm sending them red to this guy and, and I'm able to actually to clear them and so on. And yeah, as you can see, this was the, the, the second rotation. And of course I leaked because of, of the purple guy, he doesn't clear them good. But I'm feeding the teal guy and I was like, okay, let's let's feed some people, that's no problem. He says, thank you, Red, yeah. Now, what will be my next tower? Let's see, I mean, I'm having one, one magnetic field disruptor and siege tank, uh, basic towers, a book of gods, yeah, I'm, I'm saving money now, level 35, yeah, I'll be saving money for my ultimate, definitely, so that, that will be the idea. Now, this... Uh, Avatar of Vengeance, they are not that strong, they just look strong. But my Ultralisk is, is getting uh, auras from the aura generator, and also he has that bash skill, he also has splash damage skill, and his ultimate is, is like a troll from the Dota. I don't know if you somebody played Dota, then Troll's ultimate he is like, gives him sp attack speed, attack rate, and then just chances for bash are so high, then, and, and I like this so much. So. Something to, to, to concern, something to think about. Now, this is the blue way, this is the second rotation, and I'll be able to clear it. Having this type of towers, as I said, this kind of uh, epidemic catalyst uh, aura generator are essential. So, if you have access to them, build them also. This magnetic disruptor, I mean, uh, the field disruptor is it's, it's a monstrous tower. So, level 33. I mean, so far so good. Hey, this is the stun I was talking about. You see it's stun and then they're stuck here and I'm able to splash them all, you know. This is this would be my tactic, how will I proceed. Also, I can build the some of the towers of the Zerg Builder and yeah, this is also good. But now I'm just saving money for uh, for my ultimate and yeah, that, that will be all, I think. Yeah, I built even a second Dragon Roost, like I was like, just for case, let's build another Dragon Roost if air comes, because it, it can come. And I was like, let's be prepared, so... And also level 34, 37 are two siege levels, so... It, it's, it is fine, it is good to be prepared. Yeah, 30 level 33 passed. Level 34 cut to come. And we are almost at, at the end. <laughs> Just the end is... is, is it looks, looks far away, so let's speed this up. The siege, mechanical, they are not doing anything special, they are just annoying. Destroy, don't forget to build the front lines, that, that's really important. As you can see, I'm able to clear them efficiently with my hero, my hero is getting levels. It's really good. They destroyed just my basic towers, they do like 100 gold damage, but no, no, not that too much. So. But the other guys get, got a little bit destroyed, especially the teal guy. So I was like, okay, let's go and help him. Yeah, this is what I was saying. He said he they did like 800 damage, uh, gold damage to, to, the, to him, so... I was like, okay, I mean, they kick him, yeah, so... Bad front lines, I would say. But, I mean, I can compensate that to him, I mean, I can send him money, so no problem. I needed to save money for my uh, ultimate on the level 35, I'll get the wood, so... I was like, okay, let's, let's do that. Yeah. Again, air wave comes, and this is why I was building that second roost. I mean, I could, I should have built actually more roost, but it's fine. Uh, I wanna just be able to to massively deal the, the damage to this wave and so on. As you can see, these fire bunkers are not doing that much damage. You know, they're average. So uh, I, I'm a little bit dissatisfied in this tower. But nevertheless, it's, it's not a bad tower overall. If I'm so. Especially if the waves are coming like this one by one, I mean the minions are coming one by one, so you can like do much more damage. But definitely, next time I will be building my ultimate first and then this five red bunkers. Now this is the third rotation, and I am, I don't, I am not realizing are we in trouble, and then this guy says like, like yeah, maybe we are in trouble. Also I leaked one, and then I am like casting fire, as you can see here, so I catch him. And here also I will cast some fire, so that, yeah, as you can see, if I didn't cast fire, my towers will not uh, realize and they will not kill. Also, I could have 
if I was a little bit faster, I could have killed that one, but yeah, I mean, they were not that much efficient. But in any way, two lives saved, you know, and, and now we are having four lives, so... We just need to survive now, that, that is the point. And I'm having my ultimate, I have my uh, wood, and I'm building my ghost, this chaos type of damage, it, it, it can... As you can see, it, 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 it stuns them in a spot, so... It's not the best solution tower, I would say, but it, it is fine, you know, it's, 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 it's fine. It has 1500 range, I mean the range is long, but all of that range, except that range is not special. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing much more job, better job with my hero than with the tower, so... Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm doing really massive damage to this kind of ground units and so on, I mean I'm not having any problem, or we are, will not have any problem. I say use uh, ultimate with Archmage on Spell Immune to convert them, so yeah. Level 36 passes, let's speed this up, level 37 to come. Level 37 will be another siege, um, a little bit annoying siege, fairies again, those Job's bloody done. fairies. I mean they are harpy she devil actually, but in my eyes they are, they are the, 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 the harpies. Let's slow this down because start lagging a little bit. Okay, and, you, and I'm able to, to clear them, you know, I mean, they're just fa fairy fire siege. And they're not even spell immune, and it's really nice, because usually those, there can be those turtles, they're really annoying and strong, so... Yeah. I was able to, to clear this way without any problem. And, I, and then I went to the bottom guy and tried to help him. And I'll be also rebuilding some of my base now, also, so yeah. Town is under I'm building now, I need another Dragon Rose because as I said 38-39 can be air wave and you need to have some air uh, air solution things, so yeah, that's that, that's the case. Yeah, this guy you know, is like a little bit uh, lack, uh, lacking of damage, but in overall he's good, I mean he has his siege tank and now he's building again Nova Shocker here, so it's fine. Job's done. Yeah, I'm explaining to this guy how he can use his uh, hero, Job's done. so... Job's yeah. done. And this is what I was telling you, see I stun them and they don't, they cannot pass me, I mean they pass me but I was a, I'm able to, to damage them so much, so this is this is really really good for me and I am not just damage but I'm able to kill some of them, so. so now the siege passed, there is no more siege for me to worry about, only only the last level and level 39, as I said these are two of the most strongest levels for me and I was like okay let's, let's prepare some tactic, yeah so. Let's see how it will I'm just trying to do as much possible damage with my hero and like not having too much trouble of clearing these waves. Yeah, so these guys are also doing really fine job. He did look he built so many this kind of basic uh, towers that are slowing down and so on and this is the tactic you want to, to have so but Holy Builder is nevertheless a good class. I mean you'll never be top top damage dealer but because this guy didn't know how to play human and also this guy didn't play the best of undead I mean he's playing but mech I mean he even did he went also he went for aviary and built this but I don't know why I mean it was unnecessary but nevertheless I mean we are fine so yeah this, this spell immune it's no problem that he can convert them with archmage and he can deal also some spell damage to this kind of air wave. The, the last, I think they're called are they black dragons. Yeah, black dragons. I mean, they look scary, but they're not scary actually. Phoenix are much harder on 39 to kill. Also, Nagarios as ground is not easy to, to clear. So, but this was the first rotation, and on the first rotation, they didn't stand that much chance. I mean, this is the easiest of 39 level okay, So, <laughs> you were able to, to clear them really nice. So. I was really proud of us. After after this, unknowns comes, and we'll, I think the unknowns came with the frost armor, so we, we cleared that once as well. So I was like, okay, we won. <laughs> and now I was like, let's build some more ground damage. I'm building another siege tank, and I will now be like focusing on some uh, ground damage. Also, I built some of the Zerg uh, builder uh, tower, this sunken colony. Yeah, this because it can slow. Anything that can slow or damage, I, I build it, you know, so I was like, okay, let's, let's build it now. I stun them, ultimate, I uh, cast a spell to pump a little bit of my towers, and I was like, okay, let's be ready to, to cl clear some of these guys. And yeah, this is what is happening now, I'm just be able to, to massively, uh, not just kill them, but to damage them enough. I mean, I don't have the tactic like previously, like completely blocking the way and completely clearing the way, but I have the tactic to, to splash damage them and to hurt them really nice. I mean doing 25% damage to each of them of their total health 
this is this is massive so and this is something that I would definitely recommend in your gameplay I mean just build that damage you know, don't 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 feel sorry for that <laughs> yeah I said I do with survive of course so it's really good I mean the, the, the blue guy and then the, the purple guy they're doing really fine damage also he's let me show you yeah, he he's having his enfeeblers epidemic catalyst yeah one enfeebler because he has another enfeebler no he doesn't have but he's having so much variety variety of damage so yeah this is the thing and I still remain number one, although I think now the most damage it is doing is blue guy because I'm dead, yeah, that is, is massive. And yeah, so it, it is really good. Now yeah, nobody is rotating here, I don't let them rotate. Yes, no rotation, I say GG. And yeah, we cleared the last level, which was for me in my eyes before it was a little bit impossible. <laughs> So yeah, now level 41 is damage test, let's see who will do the most damage and level 42 is just some official siege, like official siege, I mean some siege that is like wanna test you and yeah, that's all. There was one funny ending there, so. Yeah, this is, I'm trying to see who's gonna do much more damage, I wanna do as much possible and I'm the second one with the most damage, the first one is, as I said, the blue guy. So yeah, I mean, the, there is a dead race between Teal and Purple. I think that's all, I hope you enjoyed this content, like our video, share it, subscribe to our channel, help, help us grow a lot. I'll be publishing now, on, now only 2 or 3 classes left, I think uh, Zerg left, uh, Protoss left and uh, Thunder Builder left, so only 3, three more, uh, three more uh, classes left to finish the professional series and then I'll be trying to finish also expert series and so on. Also, I'll be playing some hero, some uh, not hero, sorry, the tower upgrade. Burbino gets is really fun, and it's a little bit unbalanced, but still, it is it is it is a fine map. So, yeah, this is the siege that I was telling you about, but it is nothing special. I mean, just so so, not, really nothing special. I just send my hero to help. You know, not send. Let's see. Yeah, I send my hero to help there. That's all. This is the, the, the last thing that we need to clear. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay safe and just stay healthy. And I will be seeing you in some of my next videos. I mean, really in the near future. So I wish you all the best. And uh, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> how to say? Uh, play play this Burgrow. Try it. It's a really fun game, fun map. Uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged, one of the good games. So yeah, it's, it's I say here diverges so it's just for fun. So yeah. That would be all. I hope you enjoyed. See you. Bye bye.